LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. And let me tell you, do something. Let me tell you, do something right now. The coach has been busy. The coach has been busy. But now I'm going to give y'all just a, a overall spectrum of what's going on in the not sport of boxing. Okay. All right. First, I'm going to start with Keith Thurman. You know, Keith Thurman, he getting up. On, you know what, man? I'm about sick of this dude. I'm sick of this dude. I, I don't need. You know what, man? If he never fight again, good. Don't don't fight no more. Just you, you can't find him, you know. And when people finally do catch up to him, they just spot him in a crowd and they have to run up to him. He's really not in a in a big hurry to you know interview or get on camera. He ain't, he ain't in a hurry these days, okay? And I'm gonna tell you something, man. People can say whatever they want to say. Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman. I just don't think he want any parts of Errol Spence. I just don't because you know. It's, it's like when, when people ask this dude questions, he won't even bring up Errol Spence, man. He won't do it. It's almost like, okay, maybe he think in his mind, well, uh, I'm not going to give Errol Spence any shine, um, you know, you know, or, you, you know, man, see, back, you couldn't, Keith Thurman used to be very vocal, man, especially when he was talking about Floyd. Oh, well, you, you know, Floyd, uh, you know, Floyd's ducking me, man. Uh, you know, Floyd don't want any parts of that uh, one time because, uh, because, uh, you know, if I put uh, one time on Floyd, uh, uh, you know, Floyd's going to sleep. You know, I used to hear him saying stuff like that. Now, where is he at, man? <laughs> where is he at? Y'all remember him talking about, oh, uh, Pauly, you better not duck me, son. You better not duck me, son. Earl Spence, I'll murk that boy. You know, I remember, man, but it's, it's almost like, okay, where is he at? And, I, and you know, I'm still kind of waiting. Like, are, are you, where are your comments? I want to hear your recent comments about Errol Spence calling you out. How you going to explain that? I, j I just want to hear it. But you know, okay, where is he at? Then you got Canelo, okay? And, and I'm back to calling him Canelo again. Then you got him, okay? It's, it sounded good, you know. Got, got all us Canelo fans, oh, yeah, got us on the hook. Sounds good. He said, yeah, man, we offered him to fight three times, and I do believe that. I do believe they gave him an eight-figure pay, uh, wanted to give him eight figures. Oh, I believe that, too. But it's like, okay, now, and every time you come around, every time Canelo say something, then you have Oscar De La Hoya. You have Oscar De La, you know, fishnets. You have him, and he always, always makes a statement. And I, I keep telling y'all, y'all better start listening to Oscar. Don't listen to what Canelo say. No, I don't listen to him. Because Oscar will be quick to say, yeah, well, I, uh, you know, I let Canelo, uh, yeah, yeah, let Canelo pick his own opponents. Uh. He'll say that. He'll say that, but nah, man, please. Do you really think that Oscar and Bernard, Darren, you think they're going to let this dude get in the ring and could possibly? Nah, I give Canelo. I think Canelo could beat him. But I said possibly. Get stopped or knocked out by Golovkin this right now. I mean, honestly, people, y'all think about it. Really, really think about how much there is to lose for Oscar, which the fans lose nothing because if Canelo were to lose or get stopped by Golovkin, ain't nobody, he ain't going to lose stock. Yeah, we'll probably even like him even more because he took the tough fight. That's what it is. I, I'm just saying, that's what it is. We would probably love him to death. But, I mean, you know, that's how it is. But listen to Oscar De La Hoya. Don't listen to Canelo. I can tell you that now. You listen to Canelo, he going to say, yeah, I'll fight it. But Oscar De La Hoya will tell you a different story every time. And I keep telling y'all. See, you know, I disagree a thousand percent with Dante when he said that Oscar De La Hoya has nothing to do with Canelo not fighting Golovkin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I disagree with that. Not only do I think Oscar De La Hoya has something to do with that, I actually believe that Oscar De La Hoya, they're telling Canelo, look, man, look, hey. We just wait a couple of more months. We wait about nine more months. And we keep the fans hungry for this fight. And this fight will generate more money than any of us could ever deal with. Yeah. See, I'm telling y'all, man, that's what they're doing. And you probably got B hopping up. Uh, yeah. Uh, what he said. I, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> y'all think it's a joke. And then you got Golovkin. Still crying that don't nobody want to fight him, but this dude don't want didn't didn't take the ten million dollar offers. I, I mean, now we figured out he ain't take the ten million. And who is Golovkin? Think this dude 
the resume sucks. And it's like you keep telling people this and telling people this. They'll try to say he fought more champions. He had more title defenses. Against who? Against who? See, see, man, this is where it all comes out. Against who? This dude ain't defending his title against nobody of notability. And, you know, when I looked at the Golden Boy website, when you look at the website, you see a bunch of fighters. And I'm like, God, dog, who is this dude? Who is this dude? Who is it? I recognize Gary Russell Jr., but then who is this dude? Who is that dude? Wait a minute. What does he do? Who is this? And I'm sitting here looking at, man, the fighters on the Golden Boy roster are a bunch of uh, milk duds. They're a bunch of milk duds. The website tell you the story why he ain't fighting Golovkin. Could you imagine if Triple G get in there and seriously hurt that dude? Like, literally? <laughs> Golden Boy is a one-trick pony. Folks, I, I, that, that, that's just the way that is. Golden Girl is a one-trick pony. All they got is Canelo. Folks, that's it. Y'all wonder why the other cars were, were uh, you know, wasn't as strong? They're a one-trick pony. There's nothing. And the coach means nothing. <laughs> that Golden Boy going to be able to do if something happened to Canelo. You pretty much might as well say the company is under. It, it just is. Okay? I, I know people probably don't want to hear that. I, I don't care what y'all don't want to hear. I'm going to spit it at you. Does Golovkin really want to fight? See, then I got to start questioning. Does Triple G really want to fight when that's the biggest payday of his career? You take out taxes and fees and trainer fees. You'll get to keep a cool $3 million of that. That's still a pretty good payday for the guy that don't want to fight anybody. But yeah, he's generating, uh, they're going to generate over $100 million now. Why does Triple G only have to get 10%? <laughs> well, you know, they go to thing. He ain't put no work in. <laughs> really? He ain't put no work in. I mean, it's, it's not hard to tell. It's not hard to figure out, folks. The guy hadn't challenged himself over his career. And then you get these people, but, but he's had over 400 uh, amateur fights. Uh, against who? <laughs> See, it goes back to that question. But yeah, but uh, he's got a high knockout ratio. But, but who has he been knocking out? See where I'm going with this. <laughs> because everything you say to me about Golovkin, it goes right back to his resume. I know y'all don't want to hear it, but I don't really care. I'm just going to tell you. And then Nicholas Walters. Where, where is this dude? Where is he at? Nicholas Walters is MIA. Where is he at? Folks, I tell y'all, we got the box. It's, it's been boxing suicide around this, this place, man. Then you got Tyson Fury, Okay. Tyson Fury going to a mental uh, hospital or probably need to be in one. He's got a mental, he's mentally, you know, he's mentally um, unfit to box. Okay. Wow. How does that happen? So he ain't going to be here. I mean, just look at all the stuff, man. What's going on? Then you got Pacquiao fighting Jesse Vargas, a fight that, uh, man, <sighs> buddy, 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 buddy. Hot almighty. Yep. This is our beloved sport of boxing, y'all. This is it. This is what we have left. We have nothing. Boxing is in shambles. Really is. We got these promoters to thank for this. We got just, you know, these fighters wanting the big paydays to thank for this. We got all these guys to thank for this, man. Why our sport can't be the sport that we want it to be. So thank you. We got one entity. We got Al Heyman trying to make a difference. But, <clears throat> you know, unfortunately, Al Heyman can't do it all by himself. He just can't. You know, he can try to bring the PBC back to prominence. He can bring it to prominence. Um, and hopefully, you know, shoot, Al, even they come up with some PBC belts and just forget about all his other WBO, IBF, W. Just forget about all that. Because, you know, boxing right now, man, it, it, it sucks. What are we going to talk about? Because ain't nothing happening until November. <laughs> Not really. Oh, uh, well, whatever. You guys tell me what you think. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. What are you waiting on? Subscribe. I'm done. <laughs>